Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am Billy Joe, also known as Shaconia Solitary Witch. You say, why are you put a solitary witch on there? You don't ever do anything magical. That is not true. Every day I wake up, it is magic. Every experience that one has is the universe communicating with us, and that is magical. You have to have the open eyes and the open ears and the open spirit to hear it. <laughs> Ever pull it and didn't know it. Actually, I knew it. Anyway, how you doing today? Pardon my appearance. Not like I really worry too much about my appearance. I am who I am. Uh, you might see me with eye makeup one day. You might not see me with anything. This is the very first time I believe my hair has been up into a just a wad on top of my head. Um, I am working in the yard. I have all the windows open. It's a nice cool day. And I hear Oh, I hear nature's nature calling and I have to say oh, I'm coming so um, I'm working on uh, some raised flower beds um, my husband cut some we fell a couple trees smaller trees that were like blocking out a certain part of the yard so I'm using those trees as borders and then I am rocking around the trees so that way when the trees decompose they will become fertilizer and they will become mixed into the soil in the flower beds now it's taking me a while to get the flower beds going because as I said you know I've got the trees down and then I had to acquire the leaves and stuff in the yard it's been a, it's been a season's process um, I'm not looking for towards having really anything grow. I'm going to plant some things. Um, they're just going to be wild flower beds uh, for teas and for the bees. <laughs> I'm still rhyming. That's perfect timing. Yeah, for sure. Anywho, so it's t it's a process. So I have the the tree border down, and then I have leaves and small sticks small pieces of wood you know little bits and things um they're on the bottom then the leaves and then the hardest part is acquiring the ash from where um we burn um limbs or when we cook you know all of the the wood ash goes into the flower beds as well yesterday i just put a little bit of soil and some sand in there and today i'm going to put more soil and more sand in build up um the walls i am also putting a rock border on the outside of the wood border the tree limb border the tree stalk with a trunk border i don't know the Anyway, so I am uh, putting rocks down. I Yesterday when I was out there messing in some soil and some sand and mixing it up, I, had, I was so excited. I had some ground snakes, which the ground snakes are great because they eat worms. So you definitely want worms in your flower beds because that helps aerate the soil. So I had a lot of good signs. I seen earthworms, there was grubs, centipedes, there was frogs and snakes. I mean, I'm really digging the little environment that I'm helping create down there. Um, like I said today, I'm gonna put more soil in there and then I'm gonna throw some seeds, give it a good drink of water and I'm gonna start me a flower bed. Now, anytime I grow from seed, it takes a good year so it's like they might start to sprout before the end of summer um, then I'll seed it again I might get one good grow and one drop of seed this season um, if I get the seeds in the ground today um, there's a good possibility that they'll reseed themselves but then I'll seed again and then in the early spring after the frost, I'll seed one more time. So that way, when it comes to next summer, there should be an abundance of wild flowers in my flower beds. And then my yard can be nice and mowed instead of having patches where I grow wild flowers and will not let my husband mow them down. Because let's face it, a dandelion is not a weed. 
It is very high in vitamin C. It's high in beta carotene. It's a good diuretic. It helps uh, get rid of uh, toxins from your bladder and your kidneys. It is a fantastic, fantastic little plant. And I grow them. I'm going to actually go and harvest me some this morning. Um, there's only a certain period of time because the dandelion opens and closes as the sun goes by because it catches the sun. And then it closes back up during the hot part of the day because, you know, nobody wants to be in that. Good grief. I mean, I even come in the house. Mm. Very cold coffee. Mm. Anyway, good peace to you and yours. I will be um, coming back inside at some point in time when it's nice outside. I'm, I don't get a lot of things done. Um, as you can see, my desk is still unfound. So I'm not really doing too many videos right now other than just popping on here and telling you what I'm getting into. Um, so... Uh, good peace to you and yours. Always, always wishing you love and light. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me to see what it is that I am doing. Um, I swear we are going to get and, and start doing projects. You know, uh, the weather's nice. I've got to go outside. That's, that's just it. So I'll see you next time. Bye.